I top billing as the world turns in college football, this time down in Athens, where the Georgia Bulldogs, the national champion Georgia Bulldogs, have lost quarterback JT Daniels to the transfer portal after a couple of seasons with that man at the helm. Well, when he was healthy, and of course him previously being at USC for a couple of years as well. Man, definitely want to know where you guys think he is could end up or more like where you think he should end up so everybody's speculating and guessing they don't know where this man would end up however you can always do yourself a service just by i don't know combing through your brain and just thinking about different scenarios where this guy could end up or should end up and it would make sense i always think those type of things are fun first and foremost if i'm jt daniels and i've had eyes on the national football league and i want to be involved in high profile matchups I'm looking at whatever team that was in the college football playoffs that's losing a quarterback. So you would think a team like Cincinnati, I believe that guy is leaving. uh, Desmond Ritter, I believe he's leaving for the NFL. Uh, Cincinnati, of course, will be involved in some high-profile games after being in the college football playoffs. And, hey, let's be real about it. The competition there isn't up to snuff, but – If you look at JT Daniels and his time at Georgia, he really feasted on inferior competition. So why not continue that at Cincinnati, right? Not trying to put him down or anything like that, but it is what it is. He got a chance to see to go against some of the worst defenses there. Actually, he got a chance to go against Cincinnati, and he did fairly well against those guys as well, but against Clemson, and that's pretty much the only good defenses that he saw, so... I think that style of defense could, uh, that style of offense could fit him, no doubt about that. He's a very heady player, has a pretty decent arm, uh, very good pre-snap, I would think, and he has a lot of experience. So beyond that, Notre Dame, I would think that the Jack Cone guy, I don't know what they have beyond him, but if you're looking for a one-and-done type scenario, you know Notre Dame is going to always be good. They recruit very well. And they have a very good system, kind of a plug-and-play deal going on there at quarterback. JT Daniels would fit that. Um, Ole Miss, you got to look at these guys who are parting for the draft. Like I said before, Ole Miss losing Matt Corral. (laughs) You know you're going to get some really good coaching out there. JT Daniels being a California cat. Lane Kiffin being a California cat. You know he's very familiar with anybody, especially somebody who went to his former school, USC. I uh, don't know what he's doing at the quarterback position. He probably is on the USC quarterback. I would imagine now that transferred. So if he can't get that guy, maybe JT Daniels will be a good way to go there. You always got to think about some of these guys who are in the Arch Manning sweepstakes. They're going to want a one-year rental because then they could promise Arch Manning that he will come in and start right away. JT Daniels may be a prized recruit. And there's a lot of Guys that have already filled spots, too, so it puts him in a kind of a difficult predicament if you think about the timing aspect of this. Man, I don't know. Very tough. What's Auburn doing out there? I don't know what they're doing at the quarterback position. Man, you guys got to name some teams for me, man. I'm kind of drawing a blank there. So JT Daniels, not a big loss, in my opinion, for the University of Georgia. It was time to move on from him anyway. Won a national championship without him contributing down the stretch and you have plenty of talent behind him and even some talent that could come in Uh, so we won't we won't go there with that maybe that doesn't happen hopefully it does not happen Georgia needs to run with his brung try to Brock Vandegrift kid out or the um, other kid the Stockton kid Uh, a lot of talent there these guys aren't playing Carson Beck somehow still on that roster as well They have a ton of options and should have a very good team coming back despite what people are saying about who they're losing. You got to look at who they're also bringing back. Definitely got to get in on that and show you guys the amount of talent that they have coming back, especially on the defensive side of the ball in that front seven. And all those guys are now upperclassmen. whole bunch of guys you've been waiting to see play. And with the COVID year and people staying a little bit past their expiration, these guys got a chance to sit around, or not even sit around, got a chance to rotate in, rotate in with those guys, and now these guys are all upperclassmen or at least going to be upperclassmen, like sophomores going into junior year and a lot of juniors going into their senior year on campus just as an on-campus thing. So those guys that have multiple years beyond that as well. 
and you know they're going to be loaded on the offensive side of the ball. So keep thinking Georgia can't do it next year and they don't have a shot. I think they'll have as good a shot as anyone, but it won't be with JT Daniels. So let me know what you think about JT Daniels and where you think he could end up. All right. Your boy Murph, the DNV King, BKA, the Underground King. Peace. What more can I say? Top billing. Top.